and welcome to another edition of The Drop UK. Plenty to sample today, including the latest event to race into our lives. And my word, it's exciting. And should there be more nudity in Game of Thrones? We hear what the super hot Amelia Clark thinks. First off, though, I still can't believe Leicester. They've just gone and taken an iron sledgehammer and completely smashed up the Premier League this year. Chelsea, Man City, Arsenal are nowhere. The Foxes are currently top, and now it appears that star striker Jamie Vardy is getting a Hollywood movie made about him. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the whole rags to riches tale that soccer uh, can bring, but there's no doubt that Vardy's done some insanely well stuff this year, too, coming from a non league Stocksbridge Park steal to score over 20 goals in the best league in the world. But seriously, a blockbuster film about the guy? Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't think I'm going to be paying for that. Just doesn't really sit well with me, considering the guy racially abused a Japanese casino goer at the start of the season. Yes, he's apologised, but surely a more credit. It has to go to his teammates, including the amazing Riyad Mahrez, Golo Kanti, Danny Drinkwater, Kasper Schmeichel, oh, and the Japanese forward Shinzi Okazaki. If you ask me, they should be making a film about this man, the manager Claudio Ranieri. This chap is such a legend. He shakes every journalist's hand before every press conference, answers any question going, and just seems like the friendliest man on earth, living proof that nice guys do win in the end. Supposedly, uh, Claudio wants Robert De Niro to play him if they make a film. Uh, keeping this form up, I'm sure that can be arranged. So who do you want to play Ranieri if they do make the film and who should play Vardy if they make it? Let me know below. Next to one of the newest and most exciting events I've ever seen. It's drone racing and it combines all the skills of gaming with the fast reactions for high level sport. The freestyle action takes place all around the world with the league's followers growing and growing by the week. It even came to England's Wembley Stadium thanks to the European Rota Sports Association. Uh, get used to that name because I think we'll be hearing a lot more about them. Essentially, competitors design their own quadcopter drones and race around a specially mapped out course. The beauty of this is that it's uh, around a track also where the action takes place, uh, but there are checkpoints high and low, uh, manoeuvres all around obstacles only a skilled pro could manage, uh, with dips and dives to keep everyone hooked. All this at 75 miles per hour, while the action is beamed to viewers via cameras on the drones. It looks sweet, doesn't it? Uh, competitors control their craft using a handset and headgear, and there's a Brit leading the way too, 16-year-old Luke Bannister, who could become the sports, if you can call it that, next global superstar. He's just won a shed load of money by winning an event in Dubai, and with the drones hoping to get mainstream, ESPN, the American network, are aiming to buy into it. Next thing you know, we'll be seeing celebrity drone racing on the reality TV set. Right, Game of Thrones, there's a new series starting and everyone's extremely excited about it. I have to fess up, I've never actually seen it, but I do know it's full of gratuitous killings and a fair amount of sex scenes. Uh, now one of the main stars wants more nudity. Amelia Clarke, who plays Daenerys Targaryen in the HBO show, uh, wants to see uh, more men bearing all. Uh, chatting on the Conan talk show in the US, she even coined a phrase uh, that could be echoed for generations. Free the penis, hashtag free the penis. Uh, watch this. Now, so I said in a, I said in a magazine, I said that there should, as a way of talking about the fact that I think there should be more, you know, equal nudity as a way of. There's a lot of female uh, nudity. There's yes. a plenty of female nudity, myself included, mm -hmm. and I feel like it should. I think it's. I think it should be a bit more of a discussion that's between, you know. We get some equal male nudity and female nudity. Uh, you have so many yes, titles. Free the penis. Yeah, you have. <laughs> free, you have the free, the free the penis. Free the penis. Free the penis. <laughs> That's your big cause. Uh, free the penis. Yeah. Most people's workplaces don't work like yeah, that. Though. Yeah. Now, some of you may know the YouTube star Lord Aleem. The Birmingham lad was featured on Rich Kids of Instagram recently and regularly posts videos about his insane cars that he leases out. Well, one of the crown jewels is now a mangled wreck. This gorgeous white Ferrari 458 Spider has a top speed of 210 miles per hour and goes from 0 to 60 in three seconds. Yep, three seconds. Uh, it's already done double that in the time I've just said this. Uh, but a chap on his wedding day totally lost control when his foot slipped off the accelerator and the thing ended up crashing into his mate's house in Burnley. Uh, groom Usman Ali was celebrating with his wife Sakina, uh, but he might not be smiling after receiving the bill. £30,000. Uh, Lord Aleem says the car will be back and ready soon, but the crazy thing about all this is that car could probably buy at least five houses on that street. True story. Lastly, The Jungle Book is smashing it at the box office. Idris Elba, Lupita Nyong'o and Sir Ben Kingsley are in it. And the new star, Neil Sethi, plays Mowgli in a land of amazing Disney CGI. And the man who directs it is the super talented Jon Favreau, who's also an hilarious actor. Have you ever seen Four Christmases? Yep, that's him there. Uh, can't wait to take a look at this one. Take a look at this now and let me know what you think below. I can't help but notice there's this strange odour today. 
man is forbidden. Run, Mowgli! Only I can protect you. Forget about your worries in the strain. That's a song about the good life. And that's it for another edition of The Drop. Cheers for watching and please give us a like and a subscribe and tell me who you think should play Claudia Ranieri in Lester the Movie and what you think of The Jungle Book. Laters. Targaryen. Daenerys Targaryen. I've never watched it, man. Never watched it, and I really want to watch it. I really want to get into it, but it's so I'm so far behind now. Amelia Clark, who plays Daenerys Targa Targaryen, 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 Targaryen. Can I do that again? Sorry.